What's going on everybody? I am back with another prize picks WNBA player props video for the first round of the WNBA playoffs. Excited to break it down. Gonna be giving you guys five picks to get you winning some money over here on prize picks as always. If you haven't checked out prize picks, would highly recommend you check them out, guys. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and the under on things like players' points, rebounds, assists, points, rebounds, assists, fantasy score, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. And if you are getting very serious, I do offer premium content packages. I highly recommend you check that out. You can visit patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. That is linked below, below in the description to go along with all my other links. I do offer prize picks WNBA packages, underdog WNBA to go along with the VIP member package. If you want to get access to every single one of my picks, the exclusive Discord, get access to them before the public does so you can get them before it bumps. Would highly recommend you check that out. If you're enjoying the content for free, if you're winning money off this free content, I can promise that you're going to like the premium. And if you enjoy this content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Working hard on these videos uh, today, the MLB and the WNBA both decided to start early, so it's tough. But I got this out as soon as possible with all my research, all my premium, all that stuff uh, to do as well. I know this is kind of last second with this first game, but did the best I could, and that's why it's important to have those notifications on. So when I get put in these predicaments, you can get the notification, watch the video immediately, and get these picks. So let's talk about it. We got five. We got two games today for the WNBA playoffs. And the first game I'm going to talk about is going to be the New York Liberty taking on the Chicago Sky. This game comes in with a 169 over under. It's a nine-point spread in favor of the Chicago Sky. It is expected to be the most competitive game and also the highest scoring game of the two games on the slate today. So I definitely want to be targeting some players. And the usage is very predictable in these rotations, which is always nice. So we're going to kick things off on the New York Liberty side with Miss Sabrina Ionescu, who had a great game one, definitely promising after not exactly the best Way to round out the regular season. And I want to be going with her over 32.5 points, rebounds, and assists. She does contribute in all categories. She had 35 last time out. Really, really consistent across the board. And her underlying metrics are very, very good. When I'm looking at my advanced metrics sheet as far as how she rates out in all these categories, uh, really, really good. She takes 14.4 shots per game. She shoots 41.6% from the field, 33.8% from behind the three-point arc. She takes seven three-pointers, 3.7 free throws. She shoots 92% from the line. She also has a 12.7 rebound metric and a 37% assist metric. So every single category you could possibly want her to contribute in, she does. And we already kind of saw the tape as far as the rotations uh, for the series in game one. We saw Ionescu play 36 minutes. You can see she taught, took 12 shot attempts, 3 for 6 from behind the arc. She took 3 free throws, 7 assists, 7 rebounds, 22 points. Perfect. Contributed in every single category. Kind of what we're expecting out of her. I know expecting more of the same. She's a triple-double uh, threat every single time she takes the floor. New York leads the series 1-0. They can advance with a win today. Expected to come out trying to close the deal going right at them. So pick number one. We're going with the over 32.5 points rebounds and assists for Sabrina Ionescu. That's going to be pick number one here. Pick number two. We're going to be going with her teammate. Another high usage individual that we targeted in game one. And that's going to be Miss Natasha Howard. Same thing. This team really does flow through these two players. And once again... She contributes in all categories. Both these players tend to have a little bit of turnovers issues, so I do prefer the PRA over their fantasy. I talk about that a lot. They just turn the ball over so much that the negative points for fantasy can be a little bit tough, even though you get the three points for every steal. So I do like the PRA for Natasha Howard as well. Same story. She's hit this in her last three games out. No surprise to me. She plays a bunch of minutes. She contributes in every single category. The advanced metrics grade out really well. 12.3 shots per game, 47.9% from the field, 32.6 were from behind the arc. She has a 13.8% rebound, 14.8 assist metric. So every single category you could really want her to contribute in. Once again, she does. You look at the game log in game one, kind of give you a visual 34 minutes. You can see three for three from the free throw line, nine for 17 from the field, seven rebounds, three assists, 22 points. Same thing as INSQ. And we get an even friendlier line on her at the 26 and a half PRA line. She's hit pretty much 30 plus in every single one of the last three games. I'm expecting her to continue the trend in this game. That's expected to be pretty fast. Once again, these two really do lead the charge for this team. They really do lead the usage. So I'm going to be targeting her over 26 and a half points rebounds and assists for Natasha Howard. That's going to be pick number two. Pick number three, we're going to be running back on the other side of the game. Kind of a similar story. Some pretty condensed usage. Um, some pretty condensed minutes in the rotation. 169 over under. Once again, the Chicago Sky are favored in this one. 
It all starts at the point guard position with Miss Courtney Vandersloot. She has been phenomenal, and her minutes were ramped up for game one. 31 minutes for Vandersloot. She had three rebounds, 10 assists, 13 points. Her assist metrics are fantastic. Her rebound metrics are good enough to where she's going to rack up a few of those when she's on the floor for 30-plus minutes. Once again, it's a must-win game. I expect her minutes to continue to be up, and she has a very friendly uh, PRA line for those circumstances. She put up 26 last time out, 21 and a half. She was only playing like in the low 20s at times during the regular season. You put her on the floor for that much longer of minutes, that's a big difference. 26.8 minutes on the season. If she's going to play 30 plus, that's really, really good. She has one of the most elite assist metrics in the entire league with a 37.9% assist metric. 8.9% rebound metric is very, very respectable for a point guard as well. Takes 9.1 shots per game. She shoots 48.4% from the field. So once again, Vanderslew, and like I said, that minutes bump is a big deal. For her to be only in the 21, low 20s in PRA, she's going to play 30 plus minutes. Um, there's some really good value on this line. So pick number three, we're going to be rocking with the over 21 and a half points, rebounds, and assists for Courtney Vanderslew. That's pick number three. Pick number four, we're going to the other teammate. Once again, like I said, I really like this game environment. It's fast up tempo. The, the usage is a little bit predictable on both sides. We're going to go to the other main usage piece on this Chicago Sky Squad, and that's going to be Candace Parker. We talked about her in game one. I liked her fantasy score. I think the fantasy score is a little bit too inflated for my liking now at 34 and a half, but I do like the PRA. I mean, I like both, to be honest, but the, I do lean the PRA at 27 and a half. She put up 32 last time out once again. Phenomenal player that contributes in all categories across the board. The minutes are going to be way up because it's a must-win game in the playoffs. We saw her play 30 minutes in game one. She might even play even more. They must win uh, this game. So really like this 27.5 PRA line. Once again, she takes 11 shots per game, 45.8% from the field, 32.6% from behind the arc, 4.3 three-pointers per game, 2.4 free throws per game, where she shoots 83% for the line, and then the rebounds and assist metrics are phenomenal for her. A 25.2% assist metric, a 17.9% rebound metric. So once again, Candace Parker, high usage, must win game, every single category you could possibly ask her to contribute, and she does. So I love this PRA line. For pick number four, rocking with the over 27 and a half points, rebounds, and assists for Candace Parker. And pick number five, we're going to be kicking it on over to the other game tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's the Las Vegas Aces taking on the Phoenix Mercury. We have an 18-point spread. The, the Phoenix Mercury have lost pretty much every single person on their team. Uh, they're in a tough predicament here, so we are expecting a blowout. However, with that being said, we have one of the best fantasy point producers in the entire league tonight. Arguably the best player in the entire league in Asia Wilson on the Las Vegas Aces. And I expect her to put the nail in the coffin for the Phoenix Mercury. I am a little concerned about the blowout, of course. But with all things considered, I do think she still gets the job done to, once again, put the nail in the coffin. And we're going to go with the first half fantasy score for Asia Wilson. Once again, I'm a little scared about the blowout. But do you expect her to play the full first half to at least guarantee the win? She's averaging 28 fantasy points per game as far as the first half is concerned over her last five and her lines only set at 21 and a half she is like every single possible category you could want her to contribute in she does across the board for fantasy scores so i absolutely love targeting him she shoots 50 percent from the field she takes 14.5 shots per game she shoots 2.3 three pointers per game 38 percent from the three point arc 5.1 free throws per game where she shoots 82% from there. And the block and steal metrics are phenomenal as well. She's got a 2% steal metric, a 5.9% block metric. So she's going to rack up blocks and steals. Um, and we can go ahead and pull up her game log just to give you a visual of that. But I mean, she really is the full package, man. 12 rebounds, 3 assists, 8 points last time. She had a terrible game. She still had 3 blocks in that game. Time 4, 10, 5, 1 block, 2 steals, 25 points, 6, 2, 2 blocks, 4 steals, 12 points. Keep in mind, you get three points for every one of those blocks and steals for fantasy score. So those add up really, really quick. And like I said, the fact that we're getting here in the low 20s when she's been consistently scoring in the upper 20s in the first half for fantasy score, I think there's some really, really good value on this. We can avoid the blowout risk, not having to worry about her playing the second half. Really do like this pick. So pick number five, we're going to be rocking with the over 21 and a half fantasy score for the first half for Asia Wilson. And that is... My five picks get you winning some money in the WNBA today, tonight for these playoffs. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you have not checked out the premium content packages, you need to do so today. It is well worth the investment. Going to give you some more winners over there. And if you haven't signed up for prize picks, sign up today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100. Lock in these picks. Start winning some money, guys. Best of luck on your WNBA props today, and we will see you in the next one.